Hi guys, welcome to Linux our YouTube channel. My name is Ramesha and I am your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video I will tell you how to create our own systemd timer and service unit files in RAND 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is systemd and unit files and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have a lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my system D lab setup environment. So the first question coming in our mind is what is system D? So basically system D is a system and service manager for Linux operating system. It is designed to be backward compatible with the sysv init script and provide a number of features such as parallel startup of system services at boot time or we can say on demand activation of daemons or dependency based service control logic. Okay, now the point is what is unit files? What is systemd units? So units are the object that systemd known how to manage. Unit in the some ways we can say that it is similar to the service or jobs in other init systems. Okay, so we have different types of units available in RAL 8. Systemd categorize unit according to the types of resources they describe. The easiest way to determine the type of unit is with its type suffix which is append to the end of the resource name. A uh, few common units are like uh, if we are going to discuss about the service unit so this is used for start stop restart or reload services daemon such as we have apache server okay now we have a timer unit a timer unit it, it is basically used for uh, activate and deactivate specify service based on a timer or when the set time is exclaimed and uh, mount uh, mount uh, unit is used for control the file system mount option similarly we have path unit so this is used for monitoring the file directories and activate deactivate a service if the specified file or directory is accessed so this is how we have a uh, lots of units available in the uh, with system d in RAL 8 but uh, in this demonstration we will focus about service unit and the timer unit okay so guys uh, let's begin the lab session and create our own system d service and timer unit files okay so this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 8.0. So if I open cat etc red hat release, this is 8.0. Okay, so we have to follow few steps for create our own system D unit files. So the first step is, first of all, what I'm going to do, I'll make a folder for containers the file. So I started with make a data file or data directory. Okay, move to the data folder and create a few blank files. Uh, so I create test say dot txt and then I needed one more dot sh then I needed one more dot service service file and one more that is timer okay so okay let's see uh, here I have just created four blank files and every file have its own importance in our own systemd unit files. So we have test.service, test.ss, test.timer and test.txt. So .txt file will be used for store our result while .sh file will be used our own script. .service file will be used for systemd service unit file and .timer file will be used for dot timer unit files okay now we will have to edit all files one by one so let's start with dot sh file so what i'm going to do i make a small script for taking the backup of my slash home directory with the particular date and time information so let's see how, do I, how i'm going to do that so i open test dot sh file first and write a small script so start with bin bash shiban and uh, and assign a description say backup for uh, backup script script for slash home directory okay now uh, i pick up a variable i start with variable say linux and start with dollar and say tar command tar command is used to create the backup where you want to store i say store in root name could be anything but the extension should be dot tar and and pick up the backup from slash home directory okay now uh, i want to print the result also so i say printf go with printf and backup done okay uh, at what time so say i use single quotes date date and time and start with new line so i say slash n then pick up the value from my Linux variable and uh, whatever the output come it will store in slash root data test dot txt great I'll save it 
So this is the small script which I have uh, used for taking the backup of my slash home directory and it will be stored the output in slash root yahoo.tar okay so now my script is ready so give the executable permission for the script so I run the command ch mode and plus x the file name is test.sh okay let's verify the permission so I'll check one more time okay I have successfully assigned the executable permission to test.sh file so, so the first file first step is completely successfully now move to the next step which is create uh, dot service file so whenever we want to create our own service or timer unit file we have to put this file under a specified location under the standard location that is uh, that is you can say etc system d and system so this is the standard location this is the user defined unit file standard location so first i'll copy both unit file from root uh, slash root data and paste it user defined standard location okay so i'll uh, so i'll go there and copy the file root data say test dot uh, timer file paste here similarly test dot service file paste here okay now if i run ls command i got my both file look at that test dot service and test dot timer here it is okay now uh, <coughs> let's modify both file one by one i'll go with the test.service file first okay so i'll open test.service file and uh, it's a blank file let me put some entry first then i explain each and everything for you okay so i started with service service and uh, say e x excuse start and what service you want to start say bin bash and the file path root data test dot sh my script path and, and and i start one more section that is install and under install i say wanted wanted by uh, wanted by that is multi user target okay now see uh, let's try to explain it so the service part if i'm talking about this one the service part uh, is used for customize the action so exe start commands to be executed by the system CTL start so here I am saying start this uh, particular services or this particular script okay and in the install section next one in the install section uh, in the install section define only one field which is wanted by wanted by means multi user dot target where we have really specified to which run level we wanted started in in my case this is multi user target that is run level 3 so this is how we have just put up only two entry in this file i'll save and quit from there and now move to the next file that is test.timer and try to open and put up some entries which is which will be our next step so let me add few entry in test.timer file and then i explain everything so similarly like test.service we have test.timer file i'll open it it's blank so let's put up the entry first so i started with unit section here so unit give the nice description say i say Description is uh, action time for slash home directory backup whatever okay and uh, then I go with timer section so in timer we have on calendars see calendar and uh, time say every two minute okay and last one is like earlier we have install so install this time wanted wanted by wanted by which one test.service so this time this file will be used by test.service okay so now the in the unit part describe the basic information of the unit that is metadata and the field of description gives a brief introduction to the unit of the unit and the second one is the timer so timer part timer part uh, customize the timer and system d provide the following fields like on calendar and this is execution based on absolute time not on the relative time like every two minutes so i have said that in a scenario like every two minutes data will be automatically copied from slash home and stored root and uh, slash root uh, yahoo.tar okay so this is my timer file configuration uh, con configurations put up entries and uh, i'll save and quit from here 
and uh, next point is to verify the correctness of our unit file so everything is file or perfect or not so how to verify so for this i have the command system d analyze verify uh, verify we have test so test dot service and test dot timer so i go with the star and uh, pick up both files uh, let's see what happened great if nothing is returned that means your file has passed successfully verification okay so there is no issue found now move to the next step which is reload the system manager configuration so for this i run the command system ctl daemon reload so this command ensures that uh, the system is aware of the changes uh, this command reload the system manager configuration okay so now all step done successfully time to uh, check our unit files but before going to do that let me check uh, the uh, the content of slash root directory one uh, one time so i go ls root and uh, let's see uh, currently presently there is no dot tar file exist okay so now let's start the both for unit file and let's see the magic so i run the command system ctl system ctl what to uh, enable test dot dot timer hyphen hyphen now and similarly test dot service c okay now if i run the ls command let's see here it is here i have yahoo dot tar so earlier it was nothing so now uh, if i remove this file it will be automatically available after complete two minutes just because of my test dot timer unit file is mentioned so i say rm hyphen rf and i want to remove it forcefully and now it's blank it's nothing here so uh, so just wait for two minutes uh, but uh, part of that let let's check the status of my timer file so i have the command system ctl status test dot timer file so look at that it is active and running and we can uh, we can view the uh, description of my timer file that is action time for slash home directory backup okay we can also use system ctl command as follows to list cron job in the linux so for this we have command system ctl and uh, list timer so if i go with list timer and see now here it is the test timer is, uh, is passed just 17 milliseconds or 3 milliseconds ago and here's the entry of my test or timer file okay and uh, uh, now let's check one more time i hope i i think two minutes have been completed and uh, let's check one more time and content of my slash root directory so look at that it's it's again i have my yahoo.tar file so here it is again we have backup of my home directory if you want to check the log file here we have few commands related to the system d uh, which is provided to view the log of test.timer file or test.service file so we can view the log using general ctl hyphen u say test.timer or test.service whatever so hyphen u means that is a unit file so when i press enter look at that it i have i can view the log of uh, my test.timer file using general ctl command and we can also see the content of my test.txt file remember in root data we have text.txt file uh, which is used for store our result so look at that backup done uh, it shows me the backup in my uh, the entry of my backup job with the particular date and time information so guys this is how you can you can create our own system d services and timer unit files in rel 8 and and uh, and go with the process so finally this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things and uh, soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then, keep practicing. And uh, if you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please leave your comment and subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.